is this too thorny for therapy? I haven't worn my therapist yet, so I don't know if I could like wear this or not. This is a possibility though. I'm not sure. I might scare my therapist, so. I decided to keep on the same shirt because it was too much, but in me deciding made me really sweaty, so that's great. And then just shorts from Old Navy. Anyway, I thought we could catch up really quick. The past couple of days, I've just been doing algebra, algebra, al algebra, algebra, algebra. <laughs> There's just so much algebra, guys. I have to take the TSI um, in a couple days to find out my placement for college. And, you know, I thought I knew algebra, but I was wrong. I don't remember it. I haven't been in school in like 10 years. So I have been just doing so much math that I can't even think straight. Like I think I have it down and there's more crap that comes up and I'm just like, it's a lot. So I had to stop like today, there, there will be a no algebra day. So I'm not doing algebra today. I cannot look at words. I can't look at numbers. I can't look at anything. My brain is dead, but I'm about to go to therapy. Um, I wanted to start seeing a therapist again because I feel like I'm having issues that are coming up that I didn't realize I had. So I'd rather like get that figured out and like talk to someone that could help me. And luckily this therapist is like super affordable. So I'm hoping to make it like a bi-weekly thing, but we'll see. Um, I'm having issues. I guess I can uh, open up about something and you guys let me know if you also struggle with this. But I feel like when my boyfriend is around me, I'm like actually super happy. But the minute he leaves, it's like the the whole entire day, I'm like crying. I feel alone. I feel like almost abandoned, which is so weird to say because like he doesn't show me those types of like traits. It's just in my brain. It's like what's telling me is happening. Like you're alone again. You're never going to find anyone. And it happens every single time. Like I'll see him again and it, I'll feel great. And then the moment he fucking leaves and he goes home, I feel the, I have like these thoughts again and I hate feeling this way because I feel like I'm gonna end up like pushing him away. So I really wanna get that figured out. And of course a couple other things, but I feel like I'm very um, attached to him and not in a good way. So that's what we're working on. Hopefully I can figure out ways to cope with this so I don't cry all day. I don't feel worthless or any of these feelings that come up. Anyway, I will see you in the car on the way to therapy. E -e -e. Okay, so I just got here. My appointment's in like 15. I always show up early for some reason. I'm just, I'm always early. I always have to be at least 20 minutes early, 20 to 15. I don't know why. It's just, it's, it's ingrained in me. It's a good thing. It's not that bad, but anyway, my first session, hopefully it goes well. You just explain your life story. It's not, it's nothing like too crazy. And I, I don't think I've, maybe I've cried once with any, all of my therapists that I've had in the past. So I'm not really a crier like in front of people when I'm alone. That's when I cry. But yeah, it's, I don't know. I just feel weird. I don't like people seeing me cry um, in person. It just feels really awkward, but I will see you guys when I get out. Pray for me. Pray I find a therapist that I actually like because I've been through so many and I have not found one that I was like in love with. It's it's like dating. You don't really know what to expect until you go into it. And that's just, I'm keeping an open mind. Like you can think you like the person, but then you start talking to them and you're like, maybe we're not a good match. So it's just, that's just how it goes. Good morning, guys. It's actually the next day and I totally forgot to update you guys on how my therapy appointment went. And I actually think it went really well. I think we're a good match. So I'm going to be seeing her on Tuesday, um, Tuesday night again. This session, we didn't really talk about much. She just told me like what she does, like what she doesn't do CBT or DBT. She does ACT or yeah, it's like the ACT method. So I'm excited to like figure out if that works for me or not. And yeah, I'm drinking my coffee right now. I'm so freaking tired. I just started my period, so like, I was wondering, I'm like, why am I so freaking hungry? Normally I'm not hungry. Before my period, I get really nauseous, so it's weird it didn't happen this time. Nothing wrong with that, but anyway, um, 
today I'm not doing much. I'm just going to work out. And then I'm going to <clears throat> practice more algebra. I'm so excited. <laughs> and um, I need to sign up to take the test on Monday. So I have to pay for that. Because nothing is free anymore. Everything costs money. Um, and yeah, that's just my day today. My days are really boring. But um, uh, that's life. Okay, that's... It's normal, so I will see you um, later. Later, hater. Oh, by the way, let me show you something. I tried um, this cereal yesterday, and I love it. The only thing is the texture. It's like really hard, so you're gonna have to like soak it for a second in milk, or I put it um, in yogurt, and it tastes really freaking good, so highly recommend. I, they have a chocolate flavor too, but I haven't tried that one yet. I only tried this one. It's kind of expensive, so it's not something I'm gonna buy every day. But yeah, it's really freaking good. I would say this is like an eight out of 10. Definitely recommend trying if you see it. But yeah, just know that this is like, I think it's like five or $6, so it's on the pricey side. This will be something I have once in a while. And I've also tried their shakes before, and I love them, but those are expensive too, so I try not to get those that often. But the caramel flavor for their shakes is really good. The vanilla, not so much. So if you see the caramel, try it. breakfast instead of having oatmeal I've been having um, cream of rice and actually I've been loving it so I look for it again at HEB and I can't find it so that's a little sad because I'm almost out but yeah so good I love the consistency of it and it doesn't make me as like full as oatmeal would so it's like a good like light breakfast if you don't want to feel like heavy because sometimes oatmeal makes me feel heavy so I love this. I'm gonna try to find more. upper body day um i don't like to train lower body when i'm on the first day of my period because it's miserable for me so i'm gonna do biceps and triceps i'm back in the car um, i'm done with my workout i'm sorry i can't really film right now i'm in the process of like trying to change gyms um i tried golds before and i i wasn't a huge fan of it so i didn't keep the membership and then Planet Fitness will let me cancel. <laughs> I forgot to cancel out a year, um, so I still have it. So I've just been using that until I find a new gym. Actually, there's like some really freaking fit people at my gym. 
Um, but yeah, every Planet Fitness is different. I've ha I've been to others and they're really crappy. This one is actually really freaking nice. So, but yeah, I want to go to like a smaller like uh, local gym that's not like um, a franchise. But anyway, I think I'm gonna end this vlog right here because I'm not doing much for the rest of the day. I'm gonna go home, eat, study algebra, and um, my boyfriend is coming over tonight and I have to work as well. Just boring things, but if you want me to do more vlogs, I can, especially when I'm doing interesting stuff because it's not always boring like this. Um, for instance, I'm going to Fort Worth to see my mom for her birthday and I can vlog that and I also have to get my tags renewed on my car. So I can do like a little road trip vlog and I can stop at Bucky's and stuff. It'll be really fun. Plus it'll give me something to do. But anyway, um, that honk was my cue to go. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm parked, I'm not driving. So I will see you guys in another video. Bye.